Now you know that every process has three different data streams – STD in, STD out and STD R. And I have just shown you examples of two different processes – LS and MKDIR. But uh, now let me answer the question how we could distinguish that uh, here is output from STD out data stream and here is output from STD R data stream. Let me do following. Let me redirect output from STD out stream, this output, to the file. For that you could use following command. Let me clear terminal and type ls. Here will be greater than sign like so. And next comes name of the file. And let's suppose that I want to create file std out.txt like so. Let's now press enter and see what will happen. Enter. First, we don't see any output here in the terminal. And that means that output from std out data stream from ls process was redirected to some other place. And this place is actually file stdout.txt. Let me have a look at the contents of current folder. And here I see new file stdout.txt. Let's read contents of this file. For that we could use command cut. Type cut and next comes name of the file we want to read contents from std out. Actually, I'm able to use tab in order to autocomplete file name and let's press enter. And I see list of files and folders. And it is actually a result that was produced by std out data stream of ls process. You see here same list of folders as we saw here. Of course, without any colors because now we have simply written text rows into the text file. But list of files and folders is the same as we saw here in this output. And that's how we were able to redirect output of std out data stream of specific process to the file. Alright, let me clear terminal. Let's list files again and let me remove this file std out.txt rm std out.txt. Now this file is absent. Let's do following action with mkdir command. Recap that if you don't supply any argument to this command, it will produce an error. And let's do following mkdir and let's do the same action as with ls command. Greater than sign std out.txt. At the moment, this file is absent. And let's press enter. And I see following result. I see error still here in the terminal. Let's have a look at contents of a current folder and there is such file stdout.txt. But if I read contents of this file stdout.txt, I see empty file. And that proves that this text was not produced by stdout data stream of mkdir command. And now question, how we could redirect stdr data stream that has actually produced this text and it was shown here in the terminal to the file. For that I could use following command. Let me clear terminal and type mkdir. Next comes to. Next comes greater than sign without any spaces, like so. And then name of the file. And let's name file std error, like so. .txt. Let's press enter. And now I see nothing here. And it's a good sign, it means that output from stdr data stream was redirected to the file. Let's have a look at contents of current folder. And here is stdr.txt file. Let's read it. Cut stdr.txt. And here is this error that we have seen before in the terminal. Now it was redirected to stdr.txt file. And now let me answer the question what is to here. But let me do that in the next lecture. Bye-bye.